Good morning. Good morning. Everybody get their candy and their little dog balloons. Um, I want to thank everybody for giving me the opportunity to talk about my business. I am Denise with Red Dog Balloons. And most people, when they see me, they say, well, how, how in the world did you get into doing balloons? And then the other question is, do you go to clown school? Which I, I found that kind of funny. Um, well, the reason I got into it was because I was working on staff at my church, and they had a carnival going on. And, you know, like anything, when you're on staff, you, you don't have to volunteer. You get nominated. So I got nominated to be a clown. And I had a friend of mine teach me the dog, the giraffe, and a rabbit. And that's all I had to go on. So I did the carnival, and I just I loved it. I just felt like that was something that I would really enjoy doing. So... I went home, I started searching on the internet and trying to find some tutorials. And I finally found one that he started with the very basics, like almost like he was teaching children. So I was, I was good with that. And uh, it was this guy. I hope you can see it. He's rather twisted, <laughs> excuse the pun, but um, well known in the business. His name is Buster Balloon. And um, so I, I learned a lot from him, and I, I just got hooked. I was just always looking and looking and looking for ways to improve myself. Um, so first thing I did was I came up with a name, Tickles the Clown, and I hope you can see, but that was me, all dressed up. Um, the other thing about doing that is I work in restaurants, and I started finding that the kids were not, I wasn't relating to the kids and parents like I wanted to because a lot of them are afraid of clowns now with movies and the ones that are running out in the middle of the street and scaring people. So I just made a decision just to go with just, you know, just regular outfits and uh, I saw a big difference. The other thing is um, I didn't go to clown school. Like I said, I, I do go on the internet but I had some private lessons, and then I go to a um, balloon convention every year in Orlando that's called uh, Florida Super Jam. And there's probably, I don't know, maybe, could be close to 1,000 people there. And all we do all week, I mean, for four days, is literally just play with balloons. I mean, that's the most fun you can have at a convention. <laughs> just, you just sit around in little spots with people showing you how to make new things, or you can go to classes. And so that's how, that's how I keep, you know, my business up, my uh, expertise, and just kind of keeping up with what's, what's uh, the most famous, you know, cartoon character, like, you know, trolls and all that other kind of stuff. You've got to learn how to make that for the kids. So um, you'll see I have a notebook over there uh, on the wall, and it's got some more pictures in there that you can see, some things that I do. Um, there's business cards, and of course some of you all have some here. So um, what happened was I was twisting at two restaurants here in town, and I still do. I'm a, I'm a balloon twister. But then I went full time with this business in July and I renamed it Red Dog Balloons because I wanted to go further than just balloon twisting. And that's what I did. So I just wanna go briefly through these slides and just let you see some of the things that I do and just you know, kind of explain them because you'll see that there's some things on here that I don't think I've seen anywhere else here in town. So, and if you have any questions at the end, you can, you can ask me. <clears throat> um, balloon parties, of course I do those, birthday parties and that type of thing besides, besides the restaurants. Um, these are just some samples of things that I do. This is a, a balloon wreath, which is basically that. It's just, a, it's just a hoop with balloons, flowers. You can put words in it. It could be for anything. I did one for a grand opening and put it on a table without the words, and uh, she really enjoyed that. I do grand openings, um, just any, any kind of event that you want to celebrate, and those were just some of the balloons that I did for her. That's kind of hard to see, but what that is is um, a friend of mine called me, 
and said that um, she wanted me to fix her little elf in something for her little girl. So I made that for her. It's got an elf in the shelf inside. These are just some other balloon arrangements. This is a surprise box. Any occasion, they get what's on the left. It's just a cardboard box with a bow on it. And when you open it up, it could be birthdays, it could be any occasion, there's confetti, all types of things that can come out of that. It's really a fun, unique way. These are called sparkle lights. You can see they have a ribbon on them with lights. Um, I'm doing birthday bashes for one-year-olds now with a photographer friend of mine every year. They'll have like a little cake and decorations. This is a three-foot balloon. It's hard to tell. Three-foot round. It's on the columns. <coughs> different colors. You can use different colors with a remote. It's a centerpiece. Another column I did. This is an arch. My dog's down there. He's hating the fact that I wanted him to sit there. But um, that gives you an idea. These, these are literally three-foot balloons. They're huge. I have to blow them up with helium on site because they don't fit in my car. <laughs> these are little candy cups alternative to um, favors at a birthday party or just somebody in your office. You put candy in and put a little decoration on top. And this is me last year. Um, I was in a contest for a costume, so I don't know if you can see it real good, but there's a mask that's about, that's about this big. So that kind of gives you an idea of what, what I do, and I hope that you'll look in that book. I hope you'll look on my website, my Facebook, and more information. Um, I want to close by saying that if you look underneath your seat or just feel underneath your seat, somebody has a ticket under there. And if nobody's sitting there, run under there and start grabbing because <laughs> somebody has one. <clears throat> no. 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 <laughs> I think that's instructions for the chair. <laughs> Anybody keep searching. It's here. It's here. All right, it's hold it up. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm going with the theme of Christmas. This is my little Christmas snow bear. So, come on up. Thank you. Thank you.